Hello, welcome back to Deconstructing with Dawn. I wanted to share with you guys um, the experience of using 23andMe. Um, as you might know, um, I have done the Ancestry DNA kit two years and three months ago for my 45th birthday. I got a kit um, and the results have been nothing less than shocking. <laughs> and um, I have uh, found, I had a different father than my birth certificate father. I found five half brothers. Um, I found a whole lot of drama and I found, found hundreds thousands of cousins and aunts and uncles and, and so forth. But I have kind of exhausted the search on Ancestry. I have not gotten a, a new close match in many months. And so um, I pretty much have a, a good understanding of which side is which. Like I, I can kind of tell right away by mother versus father's side these days. Um, and so I'm kind of like bored with it. And um, because I just am glutton for punishment, I thought I would do a 23 and me. <laughs> and also, um, one of my five brothers has done 23andMe years ago, and he did like the full the full thing with the haplogroup group and the uh, some Nolan and the medical information, all that kind of stuff. So I wanted to be like my brother and, and do 23andMe because I wanted to see what the match is like. There was no reason for me to do 23andMe because I'd already done Ancestry, he did 23andMe, we both uploaded to Genesis Jed Match for free, which anybody can do, um, whether you have FTDNA, uh, MyHeritage, uh, 23andMe, Ancestry, they accept all the kits, I believe, all the kits, for free. And then you can compare your matches there. And so when I found my, f my last three of my five brothers, um, he just so happened to do 23andMe, and I asked if he could upload there. And we're matched, we're brothers and sisters, no doubt about it. We're extremely high matched. We're almost full brother and sister. That's how high our Santa Morgan matches are. Um, and that's another thing. Ancestry does Santa Morgans over strands of DNA. And 23andMe, I believe, does percentage of matched DNA. So I think half brothers and sisters have like 25% matched DNA. Um, but I'm not sure. I'm, I'm not familiar really with what... 23andMe looks like when it comes to results. In April, I did do the trial period of uploading um, my DNA, to, your raw DNA to them, and they give you like five health traits, I think, like what your eye color might be, or, or if you're a long distance runner versus a sprint runner. It was pretty much nonsensical crap that I didn't really care about. But I do want to see how it looks to be matched to my brother on 23andMe, and maybe, you know, see if there's more um, maternal versus paternal matches on there. Um, and so I wanted to, to give that a shot and share that with you. I also wanted to say, because I was naive in the beginning of all this when I did my ancestry, um, I didn't know how this would rock my world. Um, it has been two years of a lot of hell. <laughs> um, it wasn't a warm and fuzzy kind of thing. Um, there has been warm and fuzzy moments, but for the most part, it has not been a pleasant experience. Um, and so if you're interested in doing this kind of stuff, and you know, you, you may be 100% sure who your mom and dad are, but you know, things happen. <laughs> and that's what happened in my case. And um, the results of that have been um, earth, you know, ch changing, life changing really. Um, and I just had a, a really bad medical scare because of the stress caused by this. So here I am glutton for punishment and kind of do 23andMe, right? That was stupid. But I'd already gotten a test and wanted to do it. Also, um, I, I've never mentioned this before because um, the, I had a giveaway going at the end of November for Black Friday. I, gave a, I gave a give, um, had a giveaway of the Ancestry DNA kit. And that was because that was the anniversary of the day that I got the results of mine. I wanted to share it with you guys. And um, I notified the winner and he did not want me to do a video, mention his name, nothing. And so um, the winner was given the kit. He's already gotten his results back. Nothing was surprising, which is fantastic. I'm so happy for him. But... Um, he didn't want me to you know, mention any his name or anything. So that was a giveaway. And I don't know if I'm going to do a 23andMe giveaway I'm not because I'm not familiar with them. I love Ancestry. Let's just make that clear. It's easy to use. And so I'm hoping that you know, 23andMe as well. So this is the kit. Um, it's I can't see the back. <laughs> um, it says, learn what your DNA says about you. You register your kit. You spit. You discover. And in the kit, in this box here apparently, is a step-by-step -step instruction um, saliva collection tube and cap and a sample return bag and a prepaid return envelope or label and box. So just like Ancestry. Ancestries, I think I'll go to like a lab in um, uh, Salt Lake City. So I'm not sure where 23andMe goes. I tried to open this beforehand because I can't really use my right hand, but let's try it here. Okay, so this is saliva collection kit. Oh, there's the return right there. So it goes back to Burlington, North Carolina. 
and it has a prepaid envelope um, with the UPS tracking number so you can track it and that kind of thing. I remember with Ancestry when I took it to the post office I got a receipt for it because I wanted because I'm distrustful. Let's just be clear and I wanted to know the step by step. Um, okay, so here it just talks about, um, hi, let's get started. Um, we're excited for you to begin this journey. I'm sure they are. <laughs> I hope to be excited. Really, I do. Um, okay, so it kind of looks the same inside as um, Ancestry. So uh, um, it says to wait a half hour. Where's the instructions at? Okay, there's the kit there. And there, I can see liquid in there from that tube. Um, I, I would assume that maybe the instructions uh oh no here you go okay so here you go here's some instructions right here it says um no food or drink for 30 minutes spit to fill line close funnel detached funnel screw on cap seal in bag and mail in kit um i don't know if you guys can see that but that's the instructions down there um now i know with ancestry my daughter waited because i had my daughter and my father-in-law so do a kit and um, my daughter waited only a half hour after eating and drinking, and her first kit got bounced back. It was not accepted. So I have not ate or drank for a ha an hour and a half now, just to be safe. Um, and I can't remember how long I waited with my first Ancestry one. So um, so my daughter was a, a quick spitter. I can't use my right hand here. I had a medical procedure on my right hand, so I can't use it very well. But... Okay, so register this kit now, and I'll, I'll do that off offline here. Um, so it says to register your kit, and then because it's a human specimen, you would then spit and stick it in this bag right here, um, which probably has like a drying thing, like a, I don't know what that little white tissue paper is, but it's probably like so in case spit flows around. Um, so you would f fill to this line, and then I would assume that you flip this over and puncture it. And this this probably gets punctured. And that's probably the um, stabilizing um, stuff in it. I don't know what this little blue thing here is, though. I don't know what that is. So um, I am going to figure this out and spit in it. Because you guys don't need to be watching me spit because that's gross. And then I'll get back with you. Oh, gosh. This thing never works. Why does not the, I'm sorry, this remote is a piece of crap. Okay, I'm gonna have to stop the video manually and then I'll get back with you guys. Okay, so I read what you're supposed to do. So you're supposed to spit in it and if you could see that, I'm not supposed to use this hand, but you're supposed to spit in it from right here to right here. So it's just a very small amount of spit. I think probably even less than Ancestry. Then you close this cap and it punctures that liquid there and pours into it. Then you put, you t unscrew this funnel and you put this cap on and then you shake it for however many seconds it says to shake it. And then that's how you do it. So like with Ancestry, it's a little bit different. You have like spit, it seemed like from here down you spit and then you flip this cap over or like a blue cap flipped over and it had blue liquid that mixed in with it. So this is just a little bit different. So um, so that's the instructions for that and I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, it took me about seven minutes to get that much spit in there. And I don't, my, my spit looks pink. I don't know what that's all about. If I could suggest something though, um, this, this big mouth funnel here, when you initially spit, it kind of like collects along the side and stuff. And then that's never moved down. So if I were you, if I was using these kind of spit things, I would try to spit directly down into the center. Um, otherwise, it seems like there's a lot of wasted spit in there. <laughs> and you're just working on it for a long time. It says it should only take two to five minutes. And it's taking me about seven minutes. And again, I don't know why it's pink. I haven't eaten anything pink today. And I haven't eaten in more than an hour and a half. So anyhow, I don't know what that's all about. So now you push this over and it pops that stuff. So now that stuff that was in here, this liquid that was in there is now mixed into your spit. It's probably like a stabilizing thing, I would assume. Um, and then make sure your spit, not just the bubbles, but your spit is above that line before you stop. Um, and then you're supposed to take the, um, this, uh, I keep using this wrist, I'm not supposed to. You take the funnel off and you replace it with this cap. Now it doesn't say what end is up. So I'm going to assume that the blue end is the um, back side. And then you tighten it really tight because you don't want to lose all that fabulous stuff, right? 
and then you mix it, you shake it for five seconds. So one, two, three, four, five. So that is it. So now my spit is mixed with the stabilizing thing. Gotta be careful here. Um, it says this is an absorbent pad not to remove it. And you stick your sample inside there and seal it up by sticking that off. Now it's sealed inside there. It says DNA Genotech Bio Specimen Bag right there. And then you stick it in the box it came in and seal it up. And prepaid, you know, get a receipt, I would suggest, and I'll mail that off tomorrow. Um, my my tube said it was good until, like, if I didn't want to do this right away, um, I gotta quit using my wrist here. Um, I could have waited till 731 2020. So this kit was good until 2020. Anyway, so that is it. Now we'll see what the next step is. No surprises are going to happen because that's already occurred with Ancestry. Um, I know my brother said that the highest match that he has um, seen is like like second cousins, I think he said. So I don't anticipate seeing any major close paternal matches. Um, but we'll see about maternal. You know, I know who my mother is. It might solve some mysteries when it comes to... Um, I've had a uh, been stuck at a brick wall when it comes to my great grandfather. He's from Germany, and I just I've got this. I've gone to where he died and where he was born. I cannot get his birth certificate. I, they, nobody can find him. So maybe I could find some family that uh, might break a wall down for when it comes to Germany, because he's from Germany. So I just I can't get any more information about him. But I don't anticipate any surprises when it comes to my paternal side. Please God, no. <laughs> I've already had enough drama. Anyway, so that is that. That's a 23andMe experience. I'll let you guys know what my matches are. I don't know how long this will take. Um, today is the 10th of January. It is my dog Berlin, my service dog. His birthday is, he's five years old today, so I'll remember this date forever. And um, we'll see how long it takes for the results to come in. And I'll, I'll share those with you like I shared with the Ancestry. I'm much more versed when it comes now to the DNA. Back then, I was stupid. <laughs> I didn't understand. I didn't even know where Iberian Peninsula was.